Hi, it's Julie. Welcome to my channel. I am Scrappin' Happy. I'm gonna do something fun today. Well, I'm going to attempt to do something fun. I was watching Tina Chevy Debbie Doodah as usual, and she was making these little tiny clusters just out of scraps um, and stapling them together. And I have all this stuff you know, scraps and um, junk. I have some of this really cool. I got this in a box I ordered from Hallmark.com and I have absolutely hoarded it. Christmas will be two years. <laughs> and so I'm going to use it for the first time. Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Uh, so I got some of that. I got, you know, the usual, uh, hang on. The usual stuff. I've got packaging or wrapping like from when you buy something at Michael's or Hobby Lobby that's glass. They'll wrap it in this stuff. And I have this, which comes in an Amazon package. And this is a little stiffer. I don't know if it's a paper bag or if it's packaging. But, you know, same thing. Um, I have pattern paper. This kind of pattern paper. I have uh, just you know scrap lace and something amusing I, I did a video way I don't know several months ago I uh, got an idea from I think it was G Kerr to hang my ribbons and lace strips from like o-rings or not o-rings oh binder rings you know uh, on a little curtain rod or a dowel or whatever in my window, uh, like in the recess of the window. So, <laughs> I'll give you a tip. If you have something like this hanging on a little ring and you just reach around behind you with scissors, you need to be careful because your curtains are also hanging there. And when you have scissors like this, <laughs> okay, we're not gonna talk about it anymore. Um, so, okay, piece of lace and then I've got, just some papers out of my scrap. And look, these are really cool. I need to look at my scraps more often. Uh, book pages, and oh, and I finally bought me some of these. I've never had them. I bought the people years ago, and I haven't used them. Maybe once in one project, because, you know, if you use them up, they're gone. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I got some of these, and this is, um, I forget what it's called. It's painter's paper. It's really wide, obviously. You're looking at it, sorry. Um, and you tape it on a wall or an area so it's way bigger than painter's tape. You're, you're blocking off something that you don't want painted. But it's real thin. It's, uh, and it's paper. It's not like tape. It's um, like, like, it's exactly like this. It feels like this. It's real thin, and uh, but it's a really good color. So I've got some of that too. Here's the twist. Here's what I'm going to try. I may hate it, but I got this at Dollar Tree. And it's Crafter Square Adhesive Cork Sheet. And it's thin. I mean, but it's got adhesive on the back. So what I thought I'd try... And you know it may it may not work, but it might. Okay, I'm going to you you know rip if rip if I can, but if not, cut with um, you know jaggedy scissors or something like this, so it won't look so perfect. Because uh, <laughs> you know everything I do is perfect, right? Um, anyway, this is gonna be my base. And then I'm going to work on it. And then later when I go to use it in my book, all I got to do is peel off the back and stick that sucker down. So we will see. Of course, if that doesn't work, I have tons of other stuff I can use for a base. Um, but I'm going to go do a couple and come back because I don't need you to hear me and my bowling words when it doesn't work out. So I will be back. Oh my gosh, I cannot stand it. Uh, by the way, the cork does tear. I uh, made the first one with the scissors and it's fine. It's, you know, 
but then I decided to try to tear it and it does it's just easy as it can be um, here is the video I will try to remember to link it but in case I forget here it is and um, more cluster ideas using scraps trims and flowers and I thought we would make one together real quick and then I'm gonna go back to playing and go back and let you go back to whatever you were doing um, so I'm just tearing out a little piece uh, and I will probably cut this, you know, blend it real quick. And then every once in a while you'll get some of the paper will, like, I guess, that sticks to the next one comes off of here. And that's, you know, that's all right. It's not going to, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, oh, well, first let me show you these real quick up close. Cutie cutie. This one has a little bit of pattern paper. And I'm having trouble, since I'm making these so small, I'm having trouble finding one of these that's small enough. So I actually, on these two, I cut the flowers, I cut a little bit off the bottom and kept the stem. And then this one, it came, it came right from here. So, you know, you can cover anything up. And this is a chipboard button with big old holes in it. <laughs> and I actually threaded a piece of uh, sorry silk. I have this big old, I don't know what kind of needle, but it's got a pretty big hole um, eye, which is not quite big enough actually for sorry silk. So if you're gonna do that, get a bigger hole uh, in your needle or, you know, you can do it. It's just going to take some, you know, some finagling. Anyway, I just thought that was so cute because I needed to cut a cover up where I had cut this flower because it had a real straight angle and it was kind of dumb looking. So anyway, that's cute. Um, I think this was the very first one. And then this one, these, these flowers. Oh my gosh, I love them. How did I live all this time without them? Okay, so let's make one. And I'm going to use this paper again. It's got flocking on it, which is really cool. Uh, of course, you can't really see it. Here it is. I mean, unless you're really looking. I kind of poked it out the edge so you could see it. I just thought that, you know, looked really good. So, and I don't like the white to show so I try to tear it, you know, where the white is left behind and then I can do something different with that piece. Um, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so here's just a little piece. And I'm going to just get a piece of this. Um, let's see, a little piece of this. I actually have a piece. And then a little piece of this. I'm just having a ball. I, I hardly ever actually sit and watch a YouTube video while I'm crafting because I find myself you know glued to the video and I'm sitting there with stuff in my hands and not doing anything because I need to focus <laughs> but um, I'm enjoying it I'm, it's fun so let's see I oh, need to put that down here hold on see I want these little other colors and pieces to stick out and show but I also want this flocking to show and I did not sorry I didn't find us a flower first oh it's gonna take a minute because they're all so big maybe See, I think that's too big. It covers up everything. So, let me keep looking. 
Or even if I can find one I can cut. Look at that. It's big, but it's skinny. I might, I might go ahead and do that. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so she just staples it. And she goes back in with her, um, oh, this thing. This brush and her, like, vintage photo, I think, and, you know, I'm not doing that because I don't always ink in vintage photo. Sometimes I'm not inking pink. So I will ink later when I figure out what I'm going to do with them. Um, but, okay. So what do you think? And then when I go to use it, even though it's got staple in it, it's not going to be a problem. I'll just rip this off and stick it down. Oh my goodness! See, I don't care what my husband says. I can be happy. I can... It's easy to make me happy, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, y'all have a good day and stay out of trouble. Thank you. Wait, come back. Wait, wait, wait. I changed my mind. I made some more. <laughs> I want to show you. <laughs> um, a bunch of little bitty ones with butterflies. And I have um, actually used one of these while I was playing around. Um, in my, I am making a bullet journal out of a book. I'm altering a book. I've used bullet journal for many years or several years and I love them. And I was closing out one at the end of September this month. And so I, um, was watching Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and she was making or is making one or has whatever made one out of a book and i just was just, uh, what so i had to, I'm, I'm making me one anyway all of that to say i put me one in here because <laughs> why not isn't that gorgeous i mean it's so cool but the problem you might have a lot of people are worrying or not worrying but making sure things aren't too bulky and these are bulky I mean they really are um, I mean it's a it's a thin piece of cork but it's still it's not paper so if that bothers you if you know you you need to keep if you put a whole bunch of stuff in your books and so you need to keep them thinner so that you can put in a lot I have actually seen cork paper, cork looking scrapbook paper, um, uh, which you, f uh, you find it in the individual, not in a, I haven't found one in a book necessarily, a paper pad, and if you did it would be a, there would only be like one or two pieces in it anyway, but you can find it in the, um, the, sh the sheets that are, you know, down the aisle and there's a whole aisle of individual different pattern papers um but i've seen cork paper so if if you need it thinner then you still can have the look um but these are you know thickish but i just can you stand it i don't normally do things i i watch a million videos and i and i even sometimes snap a picture of it so i'll remember and then go back and make it and i never do so i am so excited i just i never do this and so um i have now a whole bunch of these and that needs another staple and i uh, i'm just looking forward to using them now and while i was looking for some embroidery floss to do this one I found a whole bunch of things that I've made, a whole bunch of um, little, I don't really know what you call them, scrappy little um, clustery things, I guess, in this, in this container. I mean, what? So, yeah, I'm going to go through. I pulled them over here. I'm going to go through and re, uh, or not reorganize, how about organize and mix 
bring these things that I've made, the few things that I've made, uh, to add to my journals over to my actual crafting area and put them where I will see them and I will use them. Because, uh, duh. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to show you. I'm so excited. All right, that it, this time I mean it. I'm out. Thank you.